Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel NLR Nepal and today I am going to solve a question that I got in the comment section. The question is to find the dot product of three vectors. So this question I am going to solve today. Uh, if you have not watched my previous videos, make sure to watch all those videos because all the basics are covered in that video and uh, I will be using all those concepts from the videos. So let's get started. So for our example, I am going to use these three vectors, A vector, B vector and C vector. So basically 2, 3, 4 means 2i vector, 3j vector and 4k vector where i, j and k vector are the unit vectors along their axis. Now we need to find their dot products. Dot product of three vector is not A dot B dot C, but it is A dot B cross C. So B cross C will give a vector because cross product of two vectors give a vector and the result of that vector with the dot product of A gives the scalar. So A dot B cross C is a scalar triple product or we say dot product of three vectors. So how can we do that? There is one easy way to calculate the dot product of three vectors that is done using a determinant form. You simply write a vector, b vector and c vector in a rows, three rows and calculate its determinant and that determinant value will be the dot product. But we are not going to use that concept here. Since we are discussing the scalar triple product, uh, let's discuss this part also. Uh, as you know, a dot b cross c or scalar triple product uh, has kind of a cyclic motion. That means uh, whether you write a dot b cross c or b dot c cross a or c dot a cross b, they give the same value. So for our simplicity, I am going to find c dot a cross b. That a cross b cross product, that cross product we are going to find first. And when we get the result of that cross product, we are going to do dot product of that result with c vector. So how to calculate the cross product, you, you might know that. It can be calculated using a determinant form. So we write basic, we write just i, j, k and a1, a2, a3. They are the three components of that vector b1, b2, b3. And there is one simple formula to calculate the cross product. That formula we are going to use. Okay. So now let's get started. Let's try the program. Since we are going to use a subroutine to solve this problem, so I will directly create one subroutine so subroutine and uh, the subroutine name i will give a triple product and the uh, argument for triple product i will give a b and c we need three vectors a b c okay and and subroutine so this is the subroutine that we create and the name of subroutine is triple you can give any name you want and these three a b and c are the vectors actually these are dummy variables later you can replace it by any variable you want okay so implicit none and uh, for our simplicity i'm going to create integer data type only okay i don't want to deal with the decimal values for now okay so integer and uh, this a b and c are the vectors since it is of three dimension so it will have three components let's create an array so i will say a3 and b3 and c3 so now these three vectors are created how will we calculate the dot product is first we will calculate the cross product between two vectors let's say a and b then we will do a dot product of c with that answer first we will find a cross product okay and the cross product will also give a vector so i should declare another array and i will say cross that is the result of a cross b and it will also have three dimension so cross three okay now let's write the formula for each dimension of the answer as you can see in the picture that's the formula to calculate the cross product between two vectors so cross one formula will be a2 multiply b3 minus b2 multiply a3 so this is for cross one now 
I need it three times so simply I'm going to copy it and paste okay uh, so this is for cross 2 and this is for cross 3 The formula is completed so we will get cross product of a and b vector easily using this formula okay now this is the result of cross product okay now i need to calculate the dot product of the last vector with the cross product of a cross b and i will give that answer in a dot okay so simply it's the dot product and to find the dot product of the two vectors there is one direct intrinsic function we can use for an array so i will simply use that uh, then i will show you another way also so dot product that is the intrinsic function it will calculate the dot product of two vectors easily so i just need to give the argument and the argument are i need to calculate dot product between the last vector that is c with the answer of the cross product of a cross b and the answer is cross so this way we will get the dot product since we create a dot dot variable and i have to declare that dot variable as well so dot and what i will do is i will give that variable name in the argument as well so dot in the argument so this is the subroutine to calculate the dot product of three vectors okay now i need to create a main program so i will say program and i will say example this doesn't matter and i will give main program and one thing uh, if i have declared the function here instead of subroutine then what would be the name of that function should be declared in the main program okay so here subroutine name is triple since it is a subroutine we don't need to declare that variable in the main program okay so i'll say integer and i will create three vectors i will say b1 for the first vector or you can simply say a b and c but that is not the good way of writing the program so b2 that is the second vector and b3 that is the third third vector they are the three vectors okay and this a b c are soon to be replaced by b1 b2 and b3 and those are the vectors that we will give the input to the program now i need to give the value okay so i will say b1 b1 is an array of three elements so i will use shortened way to give the elements to that array okay that shortened way is this and i will give the value uh, 2 3 and 4 and for the b2 there is only one important thing to remember while giving this shortened way uh, it's just that there should not be space between this between this parenthesis and the for slash now we need to call that subroutine and to call the subroutine we have to write call that is the difference between the function and the subroutine if you create a function then for calling the function you have you just have to write the function name but it is a subroutine to call the subroutine you must write a keyword call okay and space and subroutine names subroutine name is triple and with the triple you have to give the arguments so this subroutine has four arguments a b c and dot so i need to give those four arguments first a should be replaced by b1 because that is a real vector a b a b and c are just a dummy variable so b2 and b3 and that dot this dot is our final answer variable in the subroutine so let's create one more variable that uh, stores our final answer that should be printed out so i will say triple product so that is our final answer okay so i will say here i will pass triple product so simply this dot so when we run this program what happens is 
since these are the four arguments we we passed on while calling the subroutine so these four arguments will replace these arguments so a will a will be replaced by b1 and b2 and c will be replaced by b3 and this dot will be replaced by triple product so wherever dot is there triple product will replace that final expression is stored in this dot variable so this final expression will be stored in a triple product variable so this way this subroutine works so we have to pass the exact number of arguments so b1 b2 b3 values are given and we pass that values in arguments so this all these calculations will be done using the values we gave and the final values will be stored in a dot which is to be replaced by a triple product so we just need to print the triple product so i will say triple product so let me compile that z photon and this is scalar.f95 and dot slash a dot out so i got zero exactly zero let me change the value and see okay so i will give here minus three let's say and let me rerun okay minus 36 i think this it works so for simplicity i will give okay one one and one okay this way i can calculate oh it is zero let's give here one maybe it will create different 16 okay so this way we can calculate the uh, scalar product of three vectors i hope everyone understood this uh, now if the question comes to write uh, to write a program for cross product only then then this is the cross product okay simply this is the cross product you can write okay so here uh, we use the dot product uh, intrinsic function directly to calculate the dot product between two vectors uh, now let me show you one another way uh, to write the dot product using the multiplication okay so that is what we do is dot is equals to uh, simply c1 multiply cross one plus c2 multiply plus 2 plus c3 multiply plus 3 so this is the actual way of calculating the dot product you simply multiply the components with the respective components of the unit vector so it is uh, i component of c and i component of cross j component of c and j component of cross because i unit vector dot product with i unit vector gives one and the dot product of i with other unit vectors gives zero okay so these are the components that only remains in the dot product let me check this whether it gives the same result or not yeah and we got the same result as previous so this much for this video if you have other questions related to the photon then please write down in the comment section below and see you in the next video